what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we're going to talk about um, Lippy as manager saying that he's going to move down and that um, Ennis will beat up on Thurman, basically the whole division. Um, also, we get to Jamil here and Shakir Stevenson. I'm going to get to that the last couple of days. Couldn't get to it. They're going to fight after Shakir Stevenson fight June 12th. But first, people talking about still ain't no Bud announcement, but Errol Spence still ain't announced the fight Ugas yet. Okay, um, let's get to that. Uh, check out the boxing news and box room replay. Listen, honestly, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if... Uh, they're in the process of trying to strip Ugas. This is pure speculation. They're trying to strip Ugas and get the Pacquiao fight going or, you know, the money funny. But I do know that the fight is supposed to be on Fox. Remember Earl Smith tweeted out that, um, you know, they need to go ahead and uh, drop the spot five schedule. And we know that PBC is, is a nigga shop. It's a mom and pop shop. You know, they're going to do mom and pop shit. You know how they say black businesses open late, close early. That's the type of time that you want. Know, instead of, you know, trying to accommodate us, you know, for flights and tickets and hotels, you know, sorry, I had to restart over, but, you know, at the same time, you just, you look at it and it's, you know, it's mom and pop crap, it takes too long to announce the fight, instead of, you know, uh, accommodating the fans, they do eight week, ten week notice, and they, the fight supposed to be in July, unless somebody got injured or something going on, or somebody don't want to sign the contract, I heard Ugas won in 50-50, maybe that could be the hold up, that was a rumor out there, and, um, but yeah, right now we what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we still we're roughly about ten to nine weeks out, depending on the date. Roughly about that. And I'm just saying that, you know, I don't know. I know Ugas already won 50 50. Heard the fight should have been done. Her Pacquiao jumped in there. Her Earl said no. So don't know what's really going on there. But they probably be fighting like July 3rd or July 10th, I think it was. You know, maybe they moved the date. But, um, you know, I do know they were talking about the third, and Oscar De La Hoya supposed to come back on the third. Maybe they let Oscar have that date. Maybe UFC got something popping that date. Who knows? And that's why they kind of waiting around for a date. Because we do know Francis Ngangu and um, John Jones were talking trash on Twitter. So maybe they talking about fighting in June. Because John Jones been training. <laughs> we seen him on Fight Hype. We seen him with Clarissa Shields channel. They, they've been training. So he not going to get caught slipping, you know. Uh, at all, and they going back and forth. You know, they going back and forth tough. And um, you know, we all know if um, if that's the if that's the move, if legitimately that's the move, and they want to do July tenth, Earl Spence said, "Ooh, I can't do nothing about that." <laughs> you know, UFC dictated pretty much all the pay per view. I'm gonna talk about the pay per view they did was it last weekend, but. You know, at the same time with Spencer, ooh, I, I really think they just waiting to see what happened with other fights and, and other combat sports. Or, you know, you also got the Olympics. Don't forget about that. So, I really think they trying to find the right date. And also, you got Earl Spence, uh, who did fight in December, right? You know, so, you know, he probably want to fight in the summer. So, really, the Olympics probably hold it up and some other stuff. John Jones and um, maybe another UFC fight. Who knows? But, um. But hey, that is what it is. But um, but yeah, apparently Jamel Heron and Shakur Stevenson is going to go ahead and fight. And um, like I said before, um, I know pretty much everybody think Shakur gonna win, but you know, it's, it's a lot of uh, ties there. Shakur is just in the gym with Bud. Jamel be in the gym with Bud, and you know, really, really, I don't really think it's no no fear for Jamel taking that fight. You know, you fear losing, but as far as Shakur not punching hard. You hear trying to hit and not get hit. He's trying to really, he's trying to really, um, you know, he's trying to really last. He's trying to do what Floyd did, what he already did. But like I said before, at some point when he move up, he got to hurt somebody. You look, you said Colbert, Colbert, Colbert looking to hurt somebody. He building his brand off being an offensive fighter. And then when he make it, he'll be defense. But yeah, it's a good fight. Um, they both so tall, big 136 pound guys. Um, but Shakur got to get past his fight June 12th, and I forget who he's fighting. Um, let's see who he's fighting. He's fighting Jeremiah 
Nakatinila at the Virgin Hotel. Um, he 21 and 1. Uh, he only lost to majority decision in Russia to uh, Evgeny Krokakopak. I can't pronounce his name at all. So he fighting him June 12th at the Virgin Hotel. So they're not fighting in New York um, for Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend. But um, but yeah, he fighting in the Virgin Hotel and not sure if they're going to have fans there. They still ain't got the Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez. Uh, still ain't got them. They take it so yet. So we'll see what happens. All right, still ain't announced that yet, but I mean, it is what it is. I think it's going to be a good fight. I think Jameer Heron is a big guy. Shakur Stevenson is a big guy. Shakur is, uh, what is he, about 5'8". So, um, you know, I think he might be fighting a guy like fighting. You know, he's from Nibia. He's 31 years old. They really ain't got nothing on him yet. And that's sad that he had to go to, uh, he had to go to um, Russia. So he might be some good. You know, they robbed the hell out of an African in Russia, man. <laughs> You know, so secure, so Jamil 5'10", 72 inch arms. So he got a little height and reach advantage on Shakur. Shakur is uh he got short arms and uh 68 inch arms, same as Danny Garcia. You know, the the big well to ways have uh 72, 74. Dry is what uh Dry Ennis is like a 74 inch uh he like a 74 inch 74 inch arm. Um, you got Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, excuse me. He he was exactly damn near the same as uh as Ennis, five ten seventy four inch arms. So, you know the big welterweights have seventy four inch arms and stuff of that nature. But um, yeah, you know it'd be interesting to see how the fight go. Um, you know see you know you neither one of them you know big puncher. So I don't know if we are gonna see a situation where you know they somebody got you know like Zay Holmes where they crying beating up Muhammad Ali or. I think it's going to be a good fight. Um, can Shakur stop Jamil? Maybe. You know, can Jamil stop Shakur? I doubt it. No offense to Jamil. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be an interesting fight, you know. But I think he got to handle his business. You know, like I said for Jamil, I probably would have just moved up, you know, and see if they can give me a T.F.E. Lopez fight. You get more money fighting T.F.E. Lopez. But I admire him, you know, not taking the easy way route, fighting one of his friends and, you know, getting it on, man. You got to. You gotta, you gotta salute that man. You really do, and um, and really, you know, he want to fight Oscar Valdez, and I heard that Miguel Pachet was gonna fight Shakur Stevenson, you know, next. But Valdez didn't want to fight him. He fighting an, another Olympian or something. So, to be honest, we'll see, man. You know, Shakur going for the WBO. Um, obviously Tank got the Super WBA, and then the IBF is vacant after JoJo Diaz missed weight and fought to a draw. So, you know, it'd be interesting, man. But I want to see Arthur Noble, Albert Bill, and them kind of. Kind of move up and get their chance at belts and stuff of that nature, man. But um, but yeah, I can't wait to see that that fight, man. And um, shout out to both Shakur and Jamel. I like them both. Most people don't like Shakur because he's top rank. It's funny. People like Jamel because he because he a good guy, man. Family guy, you know, military guy. Fought on PBC. One of the reasons, but another reason is because he he speak with everybody, man. He really accessible and good guy. So people don't like Shakur because he's top rank. Heron get a pass. Cause he used to fight on PBC, but um, for most people, it don't make me no difference where you fight at. But um, moving on, um, oh yeah, Lippias. I see somebody sent me a barbershop conversation for a video uh, with Lippias manager, where basically Lippias manager said that um, they moving back down. I believe that's what was said. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think that was said, and basically he said, you know, in his. I mean, and it's going to knock them all out. They're going to vacate their belts. I think that's what was said. Um, trying to find it. Uh, yeah, he yeah, basically said that Lippy is going back to 40, now it's 140 pounds. And I heard the interview, he said he's going to... Um, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, but yeah, I want, I want, I want to. Uh, I, I mean, who we gonna go down there and fight? My bad. I'm reading this message where they be fooled on Instagram, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, y'all, but uh, but yeah, I still, I want to see, I want to see them Jokers fight, man. I want to see Lippy S fight with uh, let's put up the, the spreadsheet, my blood boxing voice. I want, I want to see him fight Postal. I want to see him fight Zapata. You know, him and Zapata be a good fight, but Zapata in the title position. 
Catterall in the title position. So Catterall get the winner of Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez. So, I mean, but, yeah, he might be right. And this might get all them dudes out of there. Young, fiery guy. Um, can punch. He just had a lot of praise for him. Said, you know, hit hard, switch hit at the right time. He said they knew it would be a hard fight. Said he knocked out Key Porter, Sean Porter. Said he even knocked out Earl Spence. So, I mean, high praise, man. But Lippie has moving back down. And him, Mike, he, he already fought Mikey. Him, Easter, you know. Um, you know, him and Easter would be a good fight. Uh, maybe get on the board with a heavy Darius. Maybe Barashny come back. He needs some time off because he got knocked out. So, we'll see what happens. Barboza, he's still around. Catterall, if he lose or if he don't fight. Ramirez Taylor winner. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All my links there. You can reach out anytime if you have a business question, inquiry, response, video question, advertise your business on the channel. Twitter's in the description. Facebook, Instagram. Facebook group link there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CG Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best of donate, share, share the video. Peace.